Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for another episode of Final Fantasy 7. In the last episode, we went into space! And, uh, Meteor was not really destroyed, unfortunately. This episode, we're gonna start by going in here. Uh, once you launch the rocket out of Rocket Town, you can get this. Uh, not before. So if you go to, over here, you remember this old man, if, when we talked to him, uh, when we first got here, he gave us the Yoshiyuki. My, my precious rocket is gone. Talked to him a few times. I know, no matter how much I look, the rocket's still gone. I just can't stop it. Just cause no man's folly, if you will. Sorry to get you into this for me, it's kind of hobby. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. You get the Venus Gospel. We should take care of it and use it. Which is Wade's ultimate weapon! Woo! See Venus Gospel like all ultimate weapons, full slots, nice man's attack, no growth. So, like most other weapons, I'm gonna keep it off. Um, yeah. Good times, good times. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to head over to Cosmo Canyon. Because as we all know, Cosmo Canyon is where we're supposed to go. As in, and at the end of the last episode, everyone's like, Well, we'll go to Bogenhagen, 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 Bogenhagen. I was like, oh, that's a great idea, Bogenhagen. I just, I found it really funny, the way that they, they were like, not really hinting at that. Okay, it's over this way. Hello. And uh, as before, we still can't land there. Grr, 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 so let's land over here. And walk and get into enemy encounters. Damn you, Bugenhagen, and your inability to go to where there are landing strips. At least the enemies uh, die easily these days. Oh, yes. Two times cut. You are so beautiful. Yes. Yeah. This is just actually kind of a weird camera angle, I'm not gonna lie. Whee! Uh, come on, come on, I hate Sahakins. Sahajin. Mordi. Leave me alone! Are you happy? Are you happy? Thank you. Cosmo Canyon! No, I'm not gonna put Frozen in my party just for this. That's right, I'm just ignore the door guard and go straight up to Bogenhagen. I love the music here. This is the... Oh, it's the right way, wowee. Can't believe I actually went in the correct direction in the first try. This is amazing! This is one of those songs that brings back the memories of, you know, like the nostalgic memories of this game. Where is he? He's in his observatory. Hello? We're here to kill you. Oh, if you are in need of my wisdom, then you're always welcome here. Yeah, that's why we came. What to do? Have you lost your way? When that happens, we'll have to take a good long look at ourselves. There's always something in the deepest reaches of our hearts. I forgot the... the... I think I gave him like a raspy old man voice, but then I didn't like doing it, so I'm just giving him this voice now. Something buried or something forgotten. Remember it, whatever that is, must certainly be what you're looking for. That's easy enough to say, but I can't remember a thing. Must be there, look harder! I don't know, Cloud. I think we should have everyone here. Of course, we're not at a save point, but somehow we can use our fss. So we're gonna have a party. Do you see it? What is it that you're searching for? Oh my god, this place is full. 
No, not a thing. No, I can't come up with a thing. Well, you're not real. Me either. I can't dunk in any of this. I remember Eris a lot. No, not that. You haven't remembered. You haven't forgotten. That's not it. How'd you say Eris was right there all along, right by her side? She was so close we couldn't see her what Eris did, the words she left behind. That reminds me, I was the same. As was I. Me too. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth's meteor. But Eris is gone. Is it impossible for us to carry on what Eris tried to accomplish? We ain't no ancients if that's what you mean. What, did that girl go off to that place? That's it. What's it? We don't know about it. What did Eris know? What did she face Sephiroth? Why did she face Sephiroth without running away? I see, she returned there once again, correct? Hmm, perhaps I'll take- I'll have you take me there. You're going to? What's so surprising about that? I even I want to get out from time to time to see the outside world. I wonder what it is. I haven't felt like this in ages. It must be the planet. The planet is calling you. Oh, come on. That's not real. Yeah, who oh boy. The planet calling. Right. I'm with Wade on this one. Oh, now let's go. Oh yeah, Boogan, I have one more thing I want to ask you. We're carrying around huge material. This is pretty delicate stuff, and we'd like to keep it in a safe place. No, oh, we'll put it upstairs now, then we shall and then we shall be on our way. I'll teach you how to work the machine just watch carefully now you pull this here. Ooh. Bonk. No. Oh, 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 is this what you call huge materia? That's right, guys, we have all four. This is really rare materia, indeed. Materia this rare, a certain of a special consciousness enclosed in it. Huge materia. It's glowing strangely. Get a little closer. This color, it's the same as colors the summon materia. Uh, these materia give you something later, but, uh, go this one. Made it a cold glow. Is that Bahamut? And we get Bahamut. Neo Bahamut materia glows brightly. Whoa. You get the zero Bahamut materia, or Bahamut zero. Huge materia. Leave it alone. Okay, so pretty much with the huge materia, if you master all the materia in a certain color, you can come here and you get a master materia, which is pretty much a single materia that's all of those materias together, which is so awesome. But for now, I'll just show you we have the... Uh, what am I going to replace it with? Uh, eh, 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 eh. Yes. <laughs> the Bahamut Zero material. Now, this Bahamut materia is so splintacularly awesome. I can't even begin. It's my favorite Bahamut animation. Um, you don't get anything else. Go back down. Oh, good. Now let's leave. Do you remember how to use the machine? If you want to see material, come here anytime. So the Bahamut Zero material is the strongest of the three. In order to get it, you have to have gotten Bahamut and uh, Neo Bahamut. <laughs> it smells like machinery. Now he's turning into Yoda. I love this spell. Of course, I also love the smell of nature, too. Hmm, is the deck up there? Then I'll be on the deck just passing time. And I can work things of the planet and the smell of the wind. I also feel the greatness of man's wisdom and the knowledge and the smell of machinery. Or bye for now. I want a floating crystal ball. Anyway, um, so it's really awesome. Uh, I've been told that if you don't have the uh, two Bahamuts, or for some reason you missed all of the huge material, which is bad, uh, then you can find the Bahamut Zero in Bone Village, so you can look that up on your own.
good times had by all. Anyway, so let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. Wow, he's level 11 now. So the place we have to go is, as he said, to uh, where Eris was, which is the ancient city. Uh, what you need now, uh, if you haven't gotten yet, which I have, you need the uh, key to the ancients, which is uh, you take the submarine to that little path uh, directly under the city of the ancients, and uh, there was a thing there, and you excavated it, and we saw Joe Martin, and life was good. But since we have it, we can just head on over here. Uh, not over there. We still haven't gotten there yet, but uh, we don't need to. Uh, that's the glacier. I get a bit uh, turned around here because there are a lot of places to go. Uh, no, here's the Bone Village. Uh, there's somewhere here. I think. Oh, no, idiot! No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I thought I had... For a second there, I don't know why I thought I had to go to the Temple of the Ancients, but that's not true. Uh, we have to... We have to be here. I don't know how we particularly go in there. I guess you go through Bone Village? I don't think so. I don't know. Because Bone Village leads to the, you know, area. I guess, uh, you know, it's good that you go to Bone Village, because if you don't have the bomb at zero, you can just, you know, search through here. But anyway, let's take our way up through the, uh, the forest, the sleeping forest, which we woke up very rudely. Very rudely. If we get into a fight, I'll show you uh, the bomb at zero. And uh, yeah, I guess you just have to make your way back. All the way back. And you'll definitely get into fights because there was an annoying amount of random encounters here, but you get to see the cool enemies in all the coral animation, which is kind of cool. So let's, uh, let's show you the stuff on the hedgehog pies, these guys. And there we are. Bahamut Zero. I love it. Bahamut Zero also does take a long time, but I think it's the coolest out of all of them. You'll see in just a moment. Terror Flare. It's where we're in outer space. Bahamut Zero comes with the rise of the sun. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now, truthfully, the beam should push Bahamut Zero back in an equal force to how he's pushing because he is in outer space. And that's just how it works. But, nah. Isn't that cool? I'm pretty sure that takes a lot less time than, uh, than, uh, what's it called, uh, than, uh, Neo Bahama, and it did 7,000 plus damage. These guys all cast Death Sentence, if you remember, so they're, they are all dead, but they're all just being idiots. go, which is kind of cool. Oh, you remember this. This was... This brings back a lot of memories. Some good, some bad. But, uh, this place was, uh, pretty schmancy. And, uh, yes, now we're here, and we go to the City of the Ancients. Alright. I chose the correct path. Giggity giggity. Oh, yes, we get to listen to this. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, but 
this music is just so oh. I just have to listen to this for a second um, I'm actually I know it's it's uh, you know the episode is just getting started but uh, I'm gonna end off the episode here <sighs> um, since you know there's a bit to do there's gonna be a lot of dialogue and stuff going on um, so in the next episode, we will take Bugenhagen to the area he wants to. Let's just move up a little bit so we can take a look at this place. I'll leave you guys off listening to this music. No uh, funny ending. You just get to listen to this because I love it. Anyway, this has been Sephiroth's Old Fort with Final Fantasy VII. Thank you very, very much for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.